Hey everyone, welcome back to Product Critique. Today, we're diving into the Chidi-X Max 3, a large format 3D printer that promises big prints and smooth operation. We'll break down its features, performance, and whether it's worth your investment. The Chidi-X Max 3 boasts a substantial build volume of 325 by 325 by 315 mm making it ideal for larger projects like cosplay props and functional parts. It comes fully enclosed, which is great for maintaining consistent temperature and safety. Let's talk build quality. The X-Max 3 feels robust and industrial grade, except for some cosmetic issues like peeling trim and thin plastic on the enclosure. The enclosed design is beneficial for printing high temperature filaments like abs, but there are some drawbacks we'll get into. Performance-wise, the X-Max 3 impresses with its capability to print at speeds up to 300 mmps. Thanks to its use of clipper operating system and stable platform design. It handles larger models well, with minimal stringing and good detail on scaled-up prints. Speaking of prints, I tested several models, including intricate designs and larger props. When it works smoothly, the X-Max 3 produces detailed prints with good bridging and minimal imperfections. However, it did struggle with some smaller models due to temperature inconsistencies on the build plate. The printer supports a variety of materials from PLA to more exotic options like carbon fiber infused filaments. It includes a spare hot end with a hardened nozzle, which is handy considering occasional clogging issues. Usability-wise, there are a few pain points. The spool holder is awkwardly placed at the back, making filament management cumbersome, especially for such a large machine that often uses entire rolls of filament per print. This setup can lead to frequent bed releveling. One major downside is the lack of power loss recovery, which is surprising for a machine in this price range. It's a critical feature for uninterrupted printing, especially on long prints that consume a lot of filament. Wrapping up, the Chidi X Max 3 isn't without its flaws, like the poorly placed spool holder and cosmetic imperfections. However, its large build volume and decent print quality make it a viable option. For enthusiasts and creators looking to scale up their projects without breaking the bank. Would I recommend it? If you're primarily interested in printing large-scale models and don't mind some minor inconveniences. The X Max 3 could be a good fit. Just be prepared to work around its limitations especially regarding filament management and power loss concerns. That wraps up our review of the Chidi X Max 3. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more honest product reviews. Thanks for watching Product Critique, and I'll see you next time.